Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me for another recipe how-to. Today we're gonna do a California roll bowl, which is a deconstructed California sushi roll. This is a recipe that I got from cookingclassy.com, and I've tweaked it a little bit just to make it easier less and less time consuming. However, I did include the link below if you would like to get the instructions off of the website. Here's a quick list of all the ingredients you'll need today, and throughout the video, you'll see that I tweaked the ingredients a little bit as well. To get started, we're gonna cut up our vegetables. You're gonna wanna start by cutting up one and a half cups of cucumber. By no means do you have to peel it as I'm doing. I just like to make it look pretty but you can leave the skin on or you can peel all of the skin off if you prefer not to have the skin on the cucumber. Then you're gonna slice it in about a quarter of an inch to half an inch slices depending on the thickness that you prefer. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and dice them up into quarters or the bite size that you would like to have as long as all the vegetables are cut up nice and evenly with the crab meat and the end so that you could get an even bite. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and shred up my whole carrots. Now, usually you would just need to buy a bag of shredded carrots. However, uh, at the grocery store, they were all sold out of shredded carrots, so I had to shred up my own, but this is definitely a step that you can skip if the grocery store is offering up shredded carrots. Now, if you like more of a finer shred, um, my grater did give me a nice fine shredded carrot so that it wasn't as crunchy and it seemed like the kids tolerated it a little bit more. So you could always try that option. Next, you'll want to get out your crab meat. The flank style, chunk style, or stick style will all work. I usually go ahead and take it out of the package, no matter what the style I have chosen, and cut it up into smaller bites to make sure that they're evenly cut with the cucumber and avocado. Once I cut it up into chunks, I then take it and peel apart each flake or chunk into smaller pieces and then add it to my mixture. I cooked my two cups of rice ahead of time according to package directions. You are um, welcome to cook the rice either before or after chopping up your vegetables. Then I'm taking one tablespoon of sugar instead of two tablespoons in order to cut down on the sugar content of the meal and three tablespoons of vinegar. However, the recipe does call for two tablespoons of sugar and four tablespoons of vinegar. So if you wanna go by the recipe standards, you'll wanna do the two tablespoon sugar, four tablespoons vinegar. Then you'll place it on the stove until both combine and all that sugar dissolves. Next, we're gonna make our sriracha mayo. You're welcome to buy this already combined at the stores, or if you have mayonnaise and sriracha in the fridge, you can, you can make your own. You're gonna take a quarter cup of mayonnaise or light mayonnaise and mix it with the sriracha. I don't 
measure out the sriracha because I like to take a little taste and make sure that the heat level is perfect. If you're wanting a milder sauce, don't put in as much sriracha, but if you're wanting to really kick up that heat, you're gonna wanna put in a little bit more than the recipe calls for. Mix it up until it makes this pretty orange color and then set aside as your topping. Next, we're gonna dice up our avocado. I saved this for towards the end of the recipe because I don't want the avocado to brown prematurely. Uh, I prepped my vegetables way ahead of time, so I put those in the fridge, and then when I was ready to prepare the bowls, I went ahead and brought that avocado out so that it would look nice and pretty and it wouldn't have that browning effect happening. So you'll take the avocado and you're gonna cut it up into evenly diced pieces that would match about the size of the cucumbers that you cut up earlier and the crab pieces. Before adding the avocado to the rest of your ingredients, go ahead and give it a good mix. If the avocado is super ripe, it could get really mushy in there if you mix it up prior to. So add it at the very end and just give it a couple of stirs. Finally, before putting our bowls together, you're gonna wanna add that sugar and vinegar mixture to your rice and make sure you stir it up so that it's evenly distributed. Finally, we'll put our bowls together. You'll start with rice at the bottom. Though the recipe says to layer it, I typically just put all the toppings on top. So we'll put the crab meat, carrots, cucumber, and avocado in, drizzle a little bit of soy sauce on top. Then I'm gonna add my nori sheets, which is optional if you don't like seaweed. Next, we'll drizzle some of that sriracha mayo that we made earlier. And then finally, you'll wanna put some sesame seeds. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this deconstructed version of a California roll.